Yo guys, what's up? John is here, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can fix the NP408338 and NP392318 errors on your PS4. I'm going to show you five to do fixes, while the website, PlayStation website, proposes nine fixes. I'm going to go through them very fast. The first thing you have to do is to check if the PlayStation Network services are actually working. If they are not working, then you have to wait for them. If not, continue this video, and the link will be in the description to check them. Second fix is very basic, is to restart your PS4, your router, turn off everything, turn it back on, just to make sure that the problem is not related to a bug in your console or your internet connection. So if you're sure that everything is working fine and the PlayStation servers networks are running fine, go ahead by starting, for example, to change your PlayStation network password. Sometimes you being not able to sign in is related to your PlayStation network account. So what you have to do, for example, and which was recommended, was to go ahead and change your password. Now, just a quick head up, I have a guide on my channel with uh, most of the PlayStation errors and most of the fixes uploaded, so make sure you check it out. I will leave it in the top card corner, so go ahead and uh, look at it after watching this video if you want. But if not, go ahead to the PlayStation website, then sign in. Once you sign in on the PlayStation.com website, you are going to go ahead and see an avatar, which is your avatar, and then from here, go ahead and click on Account Settings. Once you click on your Account Settings, you will be directed to a new page where in the account section, you're going to go ahead and select security tab. In the security, you're going to go ahead and edit your password, go ahead and write your current password, and then set a new password, which is strong, and it's highly recommended to change your password from time to time. But make sure you're noted down or write it somewhere so that you don't forget it, and then come ahead and blame me for telling you to change your password and uh, forgetting about the password. So this is the first thing. If you don't want to change your password, try reset resetting up your internet connection. Usually what you have to do is to start off basically with a test internet connection on your PS4 and then you can identify an issue from here. For example, in this test I identified the issue as being not having installed the, the system software but the, the latest update. But if not, go ahead and view your internet connection status. So you can basically see what you are setting up and you can note down your default gateway for a later fix in this video. So go ahead and set up your internet connection from here. You can use, you can choose you, you can choose like LAN cable, router, or whatever, and then go ahead and go automatic, and uh, do not specify. But once you get to the DNS section, you're gonna go ahead and enter Google uh, like Cloudflare primary DN uh, like public DNS, which have for primary 1.1.1.1 and for secondary 1.0.0.1. Now this is one of the DNS servers you can use. I'm gonna leave a link in the top section on the right where i show you different dns settings that you can use for example right here you can also try google's public dns which have for primary dns 8.8.8.8 .8 and secondary 8.8.4.4 so once you have this done mtu settings will be automatic and proxy servers do not use and at this point test internet connection everything should be successful if everything is successful or not what i recommend you do from this point is to restart your router and then restart your PS4 and then try to sign in again into your account. Now, before we go ahead and get to the third fix, I just want to let you know that if a method is working for you, make sure to leave it down in the comments down below. Or if you found something that will help others, make sure also you comment down below because it will help the community a lot. And if you have any recommendations for me, like you have a fix, you have an error that you want me to go over or you want me to go in specific details into one of the solutions, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to make a video about that. But continuing with our video, the third thing that uh, the PlayStation Network uh, website or uh, like recommends is to update your router firmware. Go ahead and enter your default gateway to sign into your router. Usually, your new username and password will be admin and admin, but if not, contact your service provider so they can tell you what they are. From here, go ahead and find uh, system tools or system settings on your router where you can see the actual firmware version. Well, now, Note down, I'm using a TP-Link router, so the link that I'm going to leave in the description is specific for the TP-Link router. If you're using a router that is different from TP-Link, go ahead and find the latest firmware for this router on the website corresponding. So the TP-Link firmware will not work on another router that is not TP-Link. As well, if you go to the link, you will find a PDF with detailed installations on how to install your, for your firmware and where you have to look at. So also make sure to read that and basically what you have to note down is the version of your TP-Link router. So when you go ahead and download the firmware, you're downloading a firmware that is accordingly the one that fits the version of your router. So with that being said, 
uh, once you actually you are able to find the corresponding version for your router which is the latest go ahead and download it for example on the tp-link website it's pretty simple you click on the blue highlighted code and the file size is not that big it's only four megabytes so once you go ahead and download for example this is for the wpa2 security this is the latest bug fixes and notes so and you have many many firmware so just get the latest one download it once you download it you're going to have to extract it somewhere it's not showing right here to in the video but i'm extracting this file into my desktop and because it's easy for me to find then once you extract it you go back to the page on your router and where it says update firmware you're going to go ahead and select uh, choose file and then you choose this file and then you hit upgrade okay. but if not first of all go to view connection status on your your playstation and note down your default gateway once you do go back to settings go to network settings and then go to set up internet connection from here choose either wi-fi or lan cable depending on how you're using your connection here choose custom and then for your ip address it's going to be manual not automatic your IP address is going to start with the three first numbers of your default gateway. So if you remember, my default gateway was 192.168.1.1. So in order to write my IP address, I'm going to write 192.168.1. I'm going to write, for example, 123. Basically, your devices are set by order starting 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, and so on. I chose 123, for example, because it's an easy number to remember. Plus, you will not have more than 23 devices connected to your Wi-Fi, since it's a private Wi-Fi. On your subnet mask, you're going to go ahead and note 255.255.255.0. That's usually the subnet, subnet mask for everybody. Then on your default gateway, you're going to write the one that we saw, which is 192.168.1.1. For your primary and secondary DNS, use Google's DNS 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. Once you do that, hit next. MTU settings are automatic and proxy server do not use. Once you've done this step, turn off your PS4 and go to your laptop or your PC or mobile, whatever, whatever you have. And go ahead and open a browser. We're going to forward ports that are re uh, related to Fortnite. So we're going to write uh, our default gateway. In my case, it's 192.168.1.1. And then we're going to log in to our... Uh, Router, usually the passwords are admin and admin or password, admin password or just blank. Call your internet provider to really know uh, what it is about. But if not, right here, go ahead and choose uh, forwarding. On your virtual servers, you're going to go ahead and add a new uh, port. You have two types of ports, TCP and UDP. Depending on whether you're using on PC, PS4, Xbox or Switch, you're going to forward the appropriate ports. Now on on your router you might not have the my, the same like page looking depending on the brand of your router but usually it should go always something like this. The IP address is going to be the one you place on your PS4 which is 192.168.1.123 and then the TCP and UDP numbers are given to you on this website. You can just look right here in the video and I will leave a link in the description for you to go ahead and check out that website if you want to see the ports for yourself. So once you're, you're inside the forwarding section or something related to port, set, port triggering or anything, whatever you have on your router model, go ahead and start adding the ports as I'm doing right now in the video. Uh, so basically what you have to do is enter the IP address, choose whether it's UDP or TDP, and then enter the numbers basically you see on the website, for example, uh, 3478 slash um, dash 3480, or even the, the other numbers basically like uh, that. Once you do, you're gonna go ahead and after each and every uh, new port you're forwarding, you're gonna go ahead and hit save. And then you're gonna keep adding them until you add all of them. Once you do add all of them, you're gonna go ahead and restart your router. And then when your, rest your router is restarted, you're gonna go ahead and turn on your PS4 and log into Fortnite. And hopefully your ping got lower. Also, make sure that not a lot of people are using the Wi-Fi at your home because the bandwidth that arrives to your uh, PS4 is reduced, so you're gonna have a higher ping and more lagging. If not, this has been it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.